Let's jump to the war here. Today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing Medieval 2 as England in the Britannia campaign, where this battle here has a lot of similarities with the Battle of Agincourt. We are the invaders into this territory here, and we have a fairly small army that's mostly comprised of archers, and they are bringing a larger force mostly comprised of cavalry. And so we need to really channel our, our inner Agincourt here and use similar tactics to overcome this. Because the Bounce of Power doesn't seem that bad, but as I've said before, with Medieval 2, the Bounce of Power really doesn't matter that much. It all comes down to unit types, and cavalry is king. Whoever's got the most number of cavalry, unless you're just uh, spearman spamming, which we're definitely not, um, you're, it's going to be very difficult to overcome that just with uh, sheer stats alone, so we've got to use tactics. Let's jump in here and see what we can do. Show no mercy! Kill them all! So... The key here is our good quality English longbowmen. Not in terms of how good they are at being archers, but their sharpened stakes. We have got to convince the enemy forces to charge into those stakes. If it doesn't happen, we're doomed. Oh, why did I do that for? Okay, hang on. That's not how I like to rearrange things. Yep, that's good. So there's some enemy reinforcements over here, but I'm just going to ignore them. We want to focus on the, the main army. Out of skirmish mode. All right, now these ones here. Let's start planning where we're going to set up our army, because we can't move the stakes after we put them down. Definitely want to hold a high ground position. So let's put these at the bottom of a hill, and then we want to make sure there's no gaps. So do something like this to make sure that we just don't allow any cavalry to get through because I'm putting it through the middle of our line here because I'm expecting the enemy general to come from the rear of their army straight into here. We need them to uh, to charge into that. Uh, crossbows stand there. Now we don't want our melee infantry standing here because otherwise the, uh, the cavalry won't charge at us. So we put them at the rear. We don't want to put them too far out the flanks, or else the enemy won't charge into us. So we've got to create weaknesses in our army in order for this to work. Okay, so as for them, just stand back a little bit there. And let's try to get them to charge at us straight away. So what I'm going to do here is send my cavalry to just go straight away charge at those Highland archers there to piss them off enough to come hopefully chasing after us and get killed. I've left my longbowmen not right in front of the stakes but pretty close to them to attract the enemy cavalry to make that charge. I'm not concerned about the enemy infantry. Everything is all about their cavalry. have good quality archers, but we did charge up a hill. Ah, uh, cowards. <laughs> I did send them to just go charge an archer line. That's okay, that's okay. The whole point of this was to piss them off, and it seems to have worked. That's exactly what we want to start seeing. This guy might come back. Alright, may, may need to use this one as well. Yeah, they came back, okay. Okay, okay, this, this is good, this is good. All right, stand here, and what I want to do is when they start charging in on us, we want to walk through our stakes. We won't get killed if we walk through it. Okay, starting to shoot, that's good. They've got some catapults, which could be a concern. So just get their attention. That's it, that's it, that's it. Back their archers because they'll be on skirmish mode. <laughs> what are you aiming for? 
Yeah, catapults are notoriously inaccurate. They seem to be taking this a, a little bit passive, which is not what I want. I just want them to zerg straight at us. There will be some of their cavalry that get through this. I, I just don't have enough of stakes to be able to defeat them all, obviously. But this is the guy that I'm after. Good, just using our cavalry to prevent them from shooting back. You can see here we're, we're getting good kills so far. Keep shooting. <laughs> That's great. No, that's not great. That's okay, I didn't hit anything. Used up a lot of our ammo, but that's okay. Taking out important units. Everything's important. The reinforcements over here, they're just standing there. Well, that's fine by me. Bounce power is still very much not in our favor. Okay, what are they gonna do now? If they wanna keep shooting, then I kind of feel like that's okay. I think they're really aiming for this unit here. And as long as they keep moving, they're not going to be able to um, hit us properly. Come on, you silly Scots. What do you got? Bunch of ninnies. <laughs> See, come on, come at me, bro. Oh my god, legend's racist against Scotland. Uh, that wasn't aimed at me, I don't think. But these are the list. Hmm. Yeah, they're giving us a good opportunity to kill off all their infantry, I guess. Don't shoot at that one anymore. Hang on, let's just move forward a little bit so we can get a little bit better in range. Sometimes they really don't like to listen to orders. Move forward a little bit. Come on, it's it's really not a difficult order. Just move forward a couple of paces. Not that one. Okay, yeah, we definitely shouldn't be. No, sense I shouldn't be standing still. Alright, I think this is because we've got the one fire at will. I found that giving units move orders while units are able to be shooting, um, they won't. I bet you move in front of this here. gonna shoot at anything, shoot at the cavalry. Really need to piss them off. Infantry's not that big of a deal. These guys are being real calm about this situation as well. Gotta give them some credit for that. Looks like it's gonna be a good shot. Yeah, it was. Charging the flank of that pike. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This unit here is is, is a goner. Okay, fall back behind here. Okay, let's start moving around the flanks. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna take a bit of damage, but 
Like I said, we had to give them something to go for. Oh, here comes the general! There he is! There he is! Run, run through! Shit. Yes, we got him! Okay, now we just need to cause a route somehow. Shit. Right, we're gonna get around the flank. Bloodied. They have lost half their men. Careful, careful, careful. We don't want to charge through our own spikes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Run them down. Especially those fucking catapults. Alright, ceasefire. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Yeah, it's weird having archers as a front line, but we absolutely had to do that. <laughs> Look at the number of cavalry that got killed. These guys are still just sitting there, it's weird. Alright, fire at will then. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. It's just mailed nice, not a big deal. They should be able to handle that. So like if we did this well, and then our general died. No, he's safe. Good, they broke. Pull back. We're gonna try and run down these guys here so we eliminate the enemy army. I don't know why these guys didn't show up. Oh, that is... Very delicious looking. So I'm not using the longbowman's ammo because we need to save some ammo for the other force over here. See, look at that, even after all that, the bounce power is still kind of even. I haven't really captured that many. I was never concerned about these guys or anything. Yeah, I didn't capture anyone because they're all getting shot. I'm just going to have to go over there and kill them. Alright, cease fire. We should just be able to route the rest of this easily. Go near them and they'll just break. Right? men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Behold how our cowardly foe right, that's runs. the first army. I just don't understand what's going on with them. I tell you what, it's a big gamble putting your archers as a frontline unit right in front of cavalry just to get them to do this. <laughs> so many of them died. Of course, they had enough cavalry that they could stretch around. I just couldn't make that go any wider. But still... The sacrifices that we made were worth it. For the, having to kill the enemy general basically for free like that. Really good. If 
funny thing is, if the AI had pulled that on me, what I would have done is I just would have moved my entire army around this way and attacked. Nothing they could have done about it. But I was counting on them not to do that, obviously. Right, so we'll just finish off these guys here, because it would be good if we got them wiped out. So you don't have to deal with them again next turn. We'll make our guys fairly tired, but we don't have that much left to deal with. Alright, now. Let's get ready over here. It looks like we're going to have to be on attack. Is this one here? This is, I don't know, they the just battle is turned very off. Much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, don't about victory too much will be ours. Fine. Don't about that one either. Oh, we didn't get there in time on that one. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. All right, cool. Yeah, we're they're taking a defensive position. All right, so what's even in this? There are... Okay, no. Now they're coming. Hang on. Stand. Yeah, take that position because we get high ground there. I'm going to make use of it. Okay, that's all just melee. No, there's some archers there. But really, what you want to be focusing on, get the crossbows to go for the mailed knights. Now you don't put your infantry in front of your archers. Because it can block their line of sight. But that being said, on a hill it should be fine. Let's just let this keep going for now. Yeah, go for the mailed knights. Don't worry about that. Don't let our archers get charged, and good, you've prevented it. Oh, they went right around the flank there. He's like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. All right, so we lost forty percent of our army. That charge was pathetic, but these guys are friggin' exhausted. Our men are winning the battle. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them Actually, down. we don't need to run these guys down because they're fighting to the death. They lose the battle, they get wiped out. By the grace of God, thirty-seven percent of our forces, vanquished. Eighty-five percent. All of this. who remember this day, remember it. We as successfully the day wiped of our out most Prince Reynolds. Army. Victory. Don't do it, my lord. You're better than this. Am I really? <laughs> <laughs> I think we all know that I'm not. Victory! Nothing can stop us, sire! The settlement sure. has fallen! Take the spoils of war! I'm not sure if he wants that guy, so I'm just going to minimize that. Save it, send it to him. He should be able to decide on that. So looking at his situation, looks like he's got a pretty good scenario here. He's abandoned for the most part. 
or maybe he got kicked out of Ireland. He's going to have to deal with that at some point. I don't think it's really a big deal. Uh, the Welsh are gone. That would have been my first priority as well, because as we saw in that other disaster from a few weeks back, a few months back even, uh, the Welsh can spam out troops like crazy. Oh, you're only on turn 20 as well. Hmm. And uh, yeah, going after Scotland also makes sense before Norway. Uh, Norway can sometimes be a bit of a pain in the ass for them. But overall, your campaign looks pretty damn healthy. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Just goes to show you that even in a game where the meta is cavalry spam, you absolutely can overcome it, you know, against the AI. Obviously, the, the AI is not going to be able to pull off that kind of stunt on the player, at least not more than once. You know, if they put down sharpened stakes, you will just avoid them for the most part. But it's good to see that uh, if you goad the enemy into... Like, if you create a weakness in your army so that they can exploit it and it end up backfiring or, uh, backfiring on them, that it can actually uh, provide you a victory where otherwise it probably wouldn't have been. So, really good units, the longbowmen. They're quite like the English archers, the high-tier archers. Obviously, the low-tier ones don't provide uh, sharp mistakes. But they give you a, a tactical edge in a battle where there's lots of cavalry. But you've got to keep in mind as well that it can be a double-edged sword because um, your troops, your cavalry, can just as easily get killed running through them, so you've got to be very careful. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.